What's up guys, Video Gamester here, and I'm bringing you more of that Gauntlet A3Z series with the story time. So, today we have a much more interesting story than last time. Uh, this kind of this takes place immediately after the last story ends. Okay? So, uh, yeah, let's get into the Gauntlet and I will uh, start the story. So, uh, okay. Alright, so this is about my first girlfriend, as in... More than one. Okay? So, immediately after 8th grade, you know, I got into high school, freshman year, that whole thing with that girl with, like, the fake phone number and stuff, that, and then I actually got a real phone number, and, and uh, we didn't want to talk. So, yeah, that, that just ended. So then, like, a month later, well, not just ended, but, yeah, like, a month later, that same guy who gave me her fake phone number, uh, let's call him Brian. His name is not Brian, it's very far from Brian, but, uh, so, yeah, he gives me, or he texts me, I remember one night, I'm with my parents, I'm going to, like, a CVS or whatever, oh my goodness, I'm going to CVS or whatever, it's nighttime, and then I get a text on my flip phone, again, because I had a flip phone, uh, freshman year, and he texts me, oh, I almost said my name, <laughs> I'm gonna bleep that out, um, he texts me, saying like hey I found the perfect girl for you I'm like oh I'm intrigued um, please do tell give me details and she's like okay well same she has the same hair color as you uh, same eye color and uh, she's basically a lot like you I'm like okay what's her number and so yeah all that happens I get her phone number I text her the same night because she was expecting my text apparently and she's like oh yeah hey you know that kind of stuff and then we talk for about a week like kind of like flirt and stuff and she shows me on um, her Facebook like five days after we talk or something so not like a week but like five days she shows me what she looks like because I, I, I had no idea but she was very nice so she, you know complimenting her on her personality not her looks because I didn't know yet so she shows me on Facebook and I was like wow okay you're pretty attractive and then she sends, hey, I have another thing you could see how I look. I'm like, okay. Uh, so she sends me this YouTube video of her singing at, like, Disneyland or whatever, and she's on stage. And uh, she seemed pretty overweight and not attractive at all. So I'm like, hey, how long ago was that Facebook photo taken? Uh, or uh, your Facebook profile picture taken? She was like, oh, like, eight or nine months. I'm like, okay, what about that video at Disney you told me? Oh, that was, like, last week. I'm like, oh. You gotta be. Oh, I have to avoid the hot spots. Okay. So I'm like, y you have to be joking me. So not only was she like, you know, not attractive. So I, I was like, oh my gosh. So I can't seem like a jerk now. So I gotta talk to her. So at school, I put on my nicest clothes, which was still. I look back and I looked like a bum. Uh, I put on my nicest clothes, and uh, she was on like choir or whatever. And so she. Like, I texted her, like, hey, I'm outside, and there was, like, a huge, like, on the choir building of my school, there was, like, large windows. You can't see in, but you can see out. They were, like, mirrors, kind of. You can't see in, but you can see out. So, and she runs out, and, of course, she's, you know, not thin. She's fat. I mean, I'm just not going to sugarcoat it. She was fat and unattractive. I was like, um, hi, and let's call her, um, let's give her a name. Let's call her Olga. <laughs> I've never met an attractive Olga. Um, and uh, so, yeah, let's give her Olga. I'm like, hi, Olga. She's like, hey. I'm like, you look nice today. And she's like, oh, thank you. I'm like, okay, sweet. And so I walk away. And that was the most awkward thing I've ever done. So, I'm like, so, yeah, I walk away. This is all true, by the way. I can't make this up. I would never make this up. What am I doing? Am I low passing it? Um, oh, okay. So yeah, and then I walk away, and then she texts me saying, hey, that was quick. I'm like, yeah. And she's like, you're pretty cute. I'm like, thank you. Um, and then I don't talk to her for the rest of the day. And then the way I continued conversations, because I was, trust me, I was like the most awkward person in middle, or middle school and beginning of high school. I got my act together towards like senior year. Um, I always asked her if I want, if she needed anyone beaten up. Like, I asked her, 
like, do you need any, or is there anyone you want me to beat up? And, like, I, I guess she found that, like, kind of intriguing. So she always kept the conversation going, except for, like, after, you, you'll see. I'll, t I'll talk about it later. Um, so, yeah. Then, like, a week goes by, and then we go hang out in the choir room. And everybody's looking at us because, you know, we're freshmen. And apparently, there's supposed to be this huge love story, but more it was like a, you know, obligation to not seem weird uh, kind of story. And so they're all staring at us. I'm not saying anything because I'm like extremely awkward. And uh, so, yeah, we're just there. I do nothing. She goes with her friends in the next room and she takes for like five minutes. So at this point, I'm like, you know what? They're talking about me. I'm out. So I walk out the choir room. I go all the way. Because the choir room was like across campus from the lunch line or whatever. I go all the way to the lunch line. Um, and so she asks, hey, where'd you go? I'm like, away from the choir room. Um, and uh, so yeah, we're just going to continue this gauntlet because I failed and I suck. Did anyone see what I got to? I think I got to 16. That's one better than last time. Um, so yeah, then that happens. And she comes all the way to the lunch line. And uh, she's just alone. And then... Like, my friends are there, and they keep egging me on to, like, hold her hand or whatever. I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that. So then I hold her hand. So, yeah, I end up holding her hand. And uh, we walk, like, away towards the pool area. Um, and they're following me. Like, three of my – well, one of them was kind of my friend because I didn't have many friends in high school. One of them was kind of my friend, and then he had, like, two other friends that were following me uh, that I didn't like. I didn't like them at all. Gosh, we are failing at this. Um, and so, yeah, they were following me and it just got really awkward. So I stopped holding her hand after like five seconds. I'm like, I just can't do this. I, I don't want to do this. Um, so yeah, then I just, you know, that very night I texted her. I'm like, Hey, are you sure you want to do this? And she said, you, and I quote, uh, and I was happy that she said this. I'm not like bagging on her or anything. I was so happy she said this. And she said, um, you took the words right out of my mouth. And I quote, that's what she said. Yeah, what am I doing? Hold on, let me read that again. Stay in the hot spots and reach the end zone before the time runs out. Oh, and there's a defender too. This should be fun. Um, I'm going to go this way and I'm going to juke right. Get out of my way, boy. Um, and so, yeah, we stopped that like immediately. Because like we were both like mutually agreeing that this is cancer. And it was time to stop. Um, so, yeah, that was my first. I don't count her as my girlfriend. Or one of my first girlfriends. I don't count her at all because it was only like a week thing. After the whole week of you know talking, I didn't see what, I didn't see what she looked like. So it was more like two weeks. And then, so that was like the middle of freshman year, end of freshman year, like last month of school. This Asian girl, uh, I probably shouldn't have said Asian because now, um, if she watches this, she knows it'll be her. I, I don't care about race. You, you can mention race if you want. I don't care. You can call me a filthy white boy. I really don't care at all. Uh, I'll call her a filthy Asian, even though I don't think Asians are filthy. Just her. Um, stay. I was so close. Um, and so, yeah. Then her and I start talking. Or no, 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 no. We have the same uh, PE class. So she sits next to me. She puts her, like her legs on my lap for some reason she sits like diagonal away from me like sort of like you see a table there's an edge uh like the table seated eight people and i was on the bottom left edge and she was on the bottom uh she was on like the left bottom edge so like she was like sitting directly to my left but like in front sort of So yeah, she'd always put her legs on me. I'm like, why are you doing this? And then apparently I found out that she thought, thought I was attractive. I'm like, okay, well, she's pretty cute too. Um, so yeah, then like a two weeks later, I text her. I'm like, hey, um, I'm going to ask you out today. <laughs> I legit said that. I told her that. I'm going to ask you out today. She was like, no, I'm not ready. Even though I knew she was going to say yes. And she said, yes, I will say yes. Get back in there. I don't know how that counted. Um, so she said that she was way too nervous. Oh, no, no, no. I said that I was, yeah, I said that I was going to ask her out and she said, wait, I was going to do it first. Hold on. Let me get this thing off my computer screen. Um, so yeah, then 
like I text her, hey, come to the bathroom with me. We didn't go in the bathroom. We stayed outside. That's what everybody did at my school. We just talked outside for like two minutes. Nobody cared. None of the security guards or whatever. Um, so yeah, we talked. I was super nervous. All my f- friends, well, sort of acquaintances that I had in class were literally staring outside the door because the door was open. They were like lining up, like one head on top of the other, just looking out the door at me. And then she's like super nervous. She's like shaking. Uh, even though this is like fre- freshman romance, quote unquote. Um, and yeah, so then I say, just say this. Because I told her and she wanted she wanted to be the one to ask me out. So I told her, just say this. Uh, will you be my boyfriend? And she was like, I'm too nervous. I'm like, okay, well, let's just count that as you saying it. And she's like, okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Um, and so, yeah, we counted that. And for two weeks... We were like talking on the phone nonstop. Uh, I was much less awkward uh, than I was with my first. Well, I don't count her as my first, but quote unquote first um, uh, acquaintance that we tried. Um, yeah, so a lot less awkward. Uh, and then like two weeks later, she like dump- oh I'm making the tackle. Uh, she dumps me, and then I'm like oh okay, all right. And that was the only time I ever took like a dumping like. Well, I know we've been dumped twice, and that one didn't hurt at all. Um, so okay, and then like one week after that, she was telling me that she was sorry and stuff. So she's like, "Okay, you know what? Meet me at the back of the school." I'm like, "Uh, oh, what is this now? Is she gonna try something stupid?" Um, and so I'm sorry, it's, I'm, my throat hurts. I'm pretty sick. I don't know if you can tell by my voice. Uh, and then she. Like, gives me a, oh, it was my birthday, that's what it was. Okay, so, okay, so we talked all throughout summer. Okay, so this is how the, this is the time sheet. Beginning, or the end of freshman year, we start talking. Uh, We talk all throughout summer, you know, I'm in Utah, I always go to Utah, I love Utah, I'm trying to move there right now. Um, And so then beginning of sophomore year, that's when, you know, she asks me out, sort of. And then, like, Two months into sophomore year, uh, no, no, sorry, two weeks, not two months. Two months after that, she dumps me. Then, uh, one week after that, it was my birthday, um, because, you know, August, school started August 23rd for us, and then my birthday, September 15th. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe I failed that. Um, so, yeah, uh, that happened, and then, yeah, so on my birthday, she wrote me a note saying, happy birthday, uh, BB, because that's what we used to call each other, just B and then another B, no spaces or anything, it, it was supposed to be a baby, but, uh, it's stupid, um, and so then she, at the bottom of the note, she wrote, now look up, and on her binder, she wrote, like, in big letters, will you be my boyfriend, I'm like, hush, I'm not even, I'm not even kidding, this is what I said, 100%, I swear, this is what I said, ah, sure, like like that and then she got really happy and then a week later i dumped her because i didn't feel like it um so yeah that was my first real girl well sort of real i still don't count this i still count myself as ever only having one girlfriend now end of sophomore year close to it um after because i play water polo after water polo season i'm like looking through i'm i I finally got instagram because my second well the Asian girlfriend convinced me to get an Instagram, and I only posted one thing on it. And the first thing I ever posted was a picture of PewDiePie, and I wrote, what a bro, or something like that. Something stupid. And, um, so yeah. Then I'm looking through Instagram. I figured out that you could search for, like, tags or whatever, and I searched up, uh, water polo or something like that. And I saw this, uh, girl who I thought was cute. She had, like, an injury on her finger, and, uh, so I, and I was banned from playing that season because of grades, because I didn't give a damn. Um, and so, yeah, then I wrote, I know how you feel. And then we talked for like five days on that uh, post. There was like 200 comments on her post or whatever before I got her phone number. And um, so, yeah, it turns out she lived in a city two hours away from me. Well, three hours away from me, uh, something like that. And... Um, we made a bet on the Super Bowl because, I mean, like, she wasn't a big football fan or whatever. But we still talked about it. I was just getting into football because in high school, 
football players and water polo players, we did not like each other uh, freshman and senior year. Senior year, or I mean freshman and sophomore year. Senior year, we just didn't care anymore. Like, I'm just going to play my sport. I don't care what you play. Um, so, yeah. Then uh, we made a bet on the Super Bowl that whoever won would go visit the other person. Uh, and I won. I chose that. I said that the Ravens would win. Uh, and I was pretty scared. Because, like, um, I mean, the Ravens were, like, choking. No. Oh, you got a sack. I should have stayed on the D-line. Um, so, yeah. I won. She came over. Uh, I still remember the... No! I'm missing one important part of the story. Forget that. So, uh, I actually went to a water polo tournament. And then it was like near her or whatever. It was like 30 minutes away. And I had her come to it. And uh, we were playing a team. We lost. And I only played in the fourth quarter of that game. I made one terrible pass and the coach took me out. I was trying to wave to her the entire time. Like I saw her. I'm like, oh my gosh. She's real. She's not a pervert or anything. She's actually a real person. Uh, and I tried to wave to her from the bench, uh, but she didn't, like, see me. And my mom waved back because she thought I was waving to her. Because she was, like, literally a couple rows back behind my mom. Um, and so, yeah, after the game, she came up to the poolside. But, like, I was so nervous. I just didn't look at her. I was like, uh, I can't. I can't look at her. Because uh, then I have to talk to her. And I was so nervous. Wow, this is getting to be a 16-minute video. I don't care. I'll chop it up into two parts. Um, or maybe not. I don't know. Uh, and so, yeah, I didn't do that. I continued cooling down because, you know, you got to cool down after the game. Uh, and then afterwards, did I? Yeah, okay. And then afterwards, uh, my mom talked to me. She's like, okay, is that girl here? I'm like, yeah, I saw her, but I didn't want to talk to her yet. Um... And she's and she was right behind my mom. She was sitting at a table, and uh, at that point we talked for like three months, I believe, three or four, no, three, and then uh, so turns out she was really short, and uh, the first thing I said to her after I was done talking to my mom, I didn't dare look at her while I was talking to my mom, because then my mom would like notice that she's behind, and then she would try to say anything, something, and then I would have to like it'd be weird eye uh, contact. And so the first thing I said to her was, uh, you really are perfect height. Something <laughs> something like that. It was really dumb. I'm in position. Give me the user pick, Madden. Um, so, yeah, and then we had the, we sat down. We watched the next game that was being played after ours. And it was really awkward because, uh, like, my teammates were going by. They were giving me weird looks. Um, like, not like weird looks. Like, what are you doing? Like, hey, what are you doing? You know, stuff like that. Uh, and so, yeah, I didn't say anything. I made stupid jokes that weren't funny. Uh, I don't think she even laughed. Am I running a, f I'm running a fake. I don't think she even laughed at one of my jokes, but, um, so yeah. Then 20 minutes later of like an awkward talk, kind of silence. Um, like the only time I ever got her to laugh once. Oh, I'm supposed to avoid the holes. Dang! Just like in college, you avoid those things. Um, oh no, sorry, that would be pronounced hose. Uh, so, yeah, uh, then 30 minutes go by, our mom, our moms, because her mom and my mom talked for a while. Uh, it must have been awkward for them too. Um, they come up behind us and say, alright, it's time to go. I'm like, thank you. That was so awkward. She probably doesn't even want to talk to me anymore. Just get me out of this place. I ruined yet another chance. Uh, and this girl I like really wanted to be with. Um, and so she – or no, and then I text her from the hotel later saying, hey, I'm sorry I'm so awkward. I, I know I have, I've had problems with being awkward in the past, something like that. And then she's like, it's okay, I think. I think that's what she said. Um, and so we still talked after that. And then we made the Super Bowl bet. And so then she comes over. And then I'm like, okay, today's the day. She's gonna. She, it's a long drive. I guarantee we're not gonna see each other for a few months if this happens, or if this doesn't happen now. Um, that was a stupid cut. And uh, so, what I do is I'm playing Madden with her, cause I was like a huge Madden. Nut. That, this was back in Madden 13. And then she was like losing. She was using the, she was using the Packers. I was using the Vikings, cause of AP. Get in the hot spot. And so she handed the controller to his sister. I'm like, oh, that's an A-gap? That's what an A-gap is. I never knew what an A-gap was. G 
give me the sack. Um, that's what she said. Uh, so yeah, then I write on my phone to her sister. I don't text her. I write on my phone and give her my phone so she can see what it says. I ask her, the girl I dated, to, well not dated yet, but eventually, uh, to uh, close her eyes. So I asked, I'm getting this corner route. Um, I asked her sister, would she say yes if I asked her to be my girlfriend? And then her sister yet said, yeah, probably. Um, so I'm like, okay, time to do this. No, no, no. And then my, no, my parents say, okay. Or like her mom says, okay, it's time to go. And then she says her name. Let's call her. Uh... Oh, this is a fake. Let's call her uh, Whitney Houston. No, Oprah. Let's call her Oprah. Even though she, I don't know. Let's call her Oprah just for no reason. And so she, uh, her parents say, all right, it's time to go, Oprah. And uh, I'm like, okay, you know what? This is enough. And I, I say to her parents, I think, I think I told her parents either that or I told her. I said, okay, wait, come with me. Um, no, I told her, yeah. Okay, wait, come with me. So then we go. In my house, I have a huge backyard. I have a pool on one side and like a big space of grass on the other side. And then behind the pool is a tree. And uh, we actually go... Oh, and then my pool is in the shape of a heart. It's the weirdest thing. It's like kind of like a deformed heart, but you can definitely see it's in the shape of a heart. So I take her up to the up my hillside because I have a huge hill. Um, and I show her like, hey, my pool is in the shape of a heart. That's pretty cool. Something like that. Um, and then she's like, yeah, it is. I'm like, uh, okay. All right, and then I come down here. I write down on my phone, will you be my girlfriend? And then I throw it at her. Like lightly underhand toss, but like... She didn't, she didn't catch it. It hit her in the leg and then it fell on the ground. And then I turned around because I was like too scared. And then like after a few seconds she said yes or something like that. And then I'm like oh, 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 thank the lord. Cause, oh. and so yeah. Then that happened and then um, a new high score. And so that happened and then um, so yeah. Then I hugged her for the first time. And then we sat down like this little kind of like a, I don't know, we sat down, I had a football in my hands, and then at this point, I was like obsessed with football, I was watching football non-stop uh, on YouTube through like pirated copies or something like that, I don't know, people uploaded video games to YouTube, or uh, football games to YouTube, um, that's how I became a Seahawks fan actually, um, uh, the first game I watched besides the Super Bowl, because I like, I tried to get myself to like the Ravens, but I'm like, I just don't like him that much. Um, and then I watched the Seahawks play against the 49ers. I'm like, yep, yeah, I like the Seahawks. That's it. I like the way they play. Um, so, yeah, and then I chose them. Um, but I, I thought they sucked because the first game I saw of them was them losing. So I thought they sucked. But I didn't care. I, wanna be, I wanted to be a Seahawks fan. So, yeah, now I'm still a Seahawks fan five years, four years later. Um, and uh, so, yeah. And then sh – yeah, and then we threw the football back and forth for like five minutes while our parents talked again because that's what parents do. They say, oh, we have to go, and then they talk even more. Uh, so, yeah, then we talked, and then I gave her a hug, and then uh, then she went back to her house. And then that night, I sent her like a long message saying, thank you for giving me like, – I don't know. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Something like that, I think. I don't remember. It was so long ago. But I know I texted her a long message saying like, hey, this is going to be great. Something like that. Um but yeah, so that's the only girl I consider me having as a real girlfriend. The first two, uh, I don't consider because one, I didn't even make it official for the first one. And she was ugly. And I'm glad I didn't like stay with her. And it wouldn't have worked anyways. The second one, uh, I just didn't want to be with her. Um, and the third one, uh, yeah, that worked out. Um, so yeah. Uh, 24 minute video so far uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed I went into depth on this third one I think a little bit too much because this was the only real one a real relationship I had oh yeah this was back in 2013 this was uh, end of sophomore year uh, beginning of junior year so yeah I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, my name's not my name my YouTube name this has been video gamester I will make another one probably right now because these are too much fun. I might upload all three of these right now. Yeah, I got time. All right, and I'm out.